Hey guys, super exciting day because a new series is here and it is Majora's Mask. I hope everyone is excited. I am super excited to do this. Uh, Ocarina of Time was a huge success. That was like a pure self-indulgence for me to play that in 2020. We did the master quest. It was super fun. So obviously um, a lot of people were asking for Majora's Mask right after I finished Ocarina of Time and I really wanted to, but the time had to be right. Um, and now I feel like December, nice and cozy holiday time, felt like a really nice time to do another Zelda game. So I did a poll on YouTube between this one, Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, and what was it? Wind Waker. Obviously, I plan to do all of these eventually. I'm still assuming there's going to be an anniversary edition coming in February 2021 for the 35th anniversary of Legend of Zelda. So I'm sure there's going to be tons of Zelda content over the next year for me as well. So I hope everyone's excited for that. But for now, we're going to play the Wii U eShop edition for Majora's Mask. So I have an HDMI out, which is really nice. I'm going to keep it spoiler free because there are, like with Ocarina of Time, there are some people who've never seen this game. So I'm excited to take them on a journey because holy shit, I would say this is one of the most out there Legend of Zelda games. It gets really freaky and really dark, which I really like. So let me introduce you guys to Majora's Mask. So here we are. As you can see, I have my Wii U controller. <laughs> um, I didn't want to stretch it all the way um, like before. I don't know, for some reason it didn't bother me when I did Ocarina of Time. I was like, ah, oh, this looks fine. But now for Majora's Mask, I was like, hmm, maybe I should not stretch it all the way. So what I did is I sacrificed a little bit of the top and bottom of the screen and just like enlarged it like that. And I used this really cool custom Japanese style pattern for the sides. And I put in a little CRT effect to fill it up. So I hope you guys like that. I'm, I might switch the colors over the, as the series goes, but I think this is a nice neutral color and it matches my background lights. And now I'm talking way too long. So let's start a new file and you guys know what's up. It is Goober's time. <laughs> Here we go, Goobers is back! <laughs> I still remember Princess Zelda being like, What's your name? Goobers. That sounds... stupid. <laughs> Zero masks. Let's go. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. A legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. So he leaves Hyrule after the first game. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. Oh because he's so lonely. A friend with whom he parted ways when he had finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends. He's looking for... Is he looking for Navi? I never put that together. Is that who he's looking for? No! Did he leave Hyrule just for Navi? Oh. That would be really sad. Trying not to bite my lips anymore. At least he got Epona. That's cute. There it is, the famous mask. So cool. I need that mask for like on my wall or something. That would be awesome. Hehe, <laughs> you two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Hmm, this guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. He recognizes him? I think it's supposed to be Misty. 
Yeah. Oh, apparently I still have the ocarina of time on me. Oh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see. You can't tell. How do you say their names? Tile? I never knew actually how to pronounce it. Here we go again with Skulltula, Skulltula. <laughs> what would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. Ah, oh, but sis, why can't I try it out too? <laughs> He's so cute. Busted. Oh, he's stealing Epona too. Don't let him go. Well, fuck. I lost my ocarina and my horse. We gotta follow them. Oh, here we go! Game time! Yeah, I think it looks good like this. Let's see. B for sword. Hiya! 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 And... And I still... Oh, that one <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Yeah. Okay. Controls are pretty much the same as I'm used to. Just with a different controller. Um. Oh yeah, I want to share this little story with you guys. So, first time I played this after... There it is. First time I played this after Ocarina of Time... I was just like, oh man, this is gonna be... I was so excited to play the sequel to the game that basically blew my mind back in the day. Um, and then I was jumping up here to go after the dude. And the way he just did, does these flips when he jumps, that was completely new. And I was like, what the fuck? And I just spent... I literally spent five minutes just jumping back and forth because it looked so fucking cool. It's the first time I saw a character jump like that. Like, 10 points for style, Link. Holy shit. So fucking cool. So awesome. Oh shit. I haven't played this since the 3DS version, I think. Or since my last stream, I think, actually. The last time I streamed this. I forgot that's the thing on the Wii U. So cool, those glowing eyes. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in writing a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. You put a no! Uh, boo hoo! Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think you can beat me as I am now? Fool. So creepy. Dude just comes in and ruins my life, steals my horse, steals my possessions, and then does this. Poor Link. Run, Link, run! Cool thing about this sequence is that it's based on the developer's nightmares. <laughs> he basically was given the task by Nintendo to make this game in a year. 
after Ocarina of Time. So that little sequence just now, him running away from it and stuff, that's like his nightmare. <laughs> now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking that way forever. Bye! He's like, bye, beesh! No, poor goobers. And that's a mean ass fairy. What are their names again? Sis? Skull Kit, wait for me! I'm still here! Tell, you can't leave without me. Or would you say tail? Maybe. I would say tail, but I don't know. You! If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy. Do something. Why are you looking at me like that? What, something stuck on my face? Will you just stop staring and just open that door for me? Please, come on. A helpless little girl is asking you, so hurry up. Oh, Tal, I wonder if that child will be alright on his own. Well. So now, we look like this. <laughs> We have a spin attack, which is rather useful. And those plants move. Well, let's open the door. Have a look. Hey, wait for me! Don't leave me behind! So, uh, that stuff back there, I, um, apologize, so take me with you. You want to know about that skull kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Well, okay, since I am a very lonely boy. So then it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner. Or at least until we catch that skull kid. My name is Tattle. Oh, Tattle and Tail. Okay, so it is Tail. So, uh, it's nice to meet you, or whatever. Now that we've got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press up uh, I don't fucking know which button that is on this controller. And I'll tell you- I'll, I'll tell it to you. Hopefully you'll manage to get by without my help until then. I think maybe that's the right analog stick. Yeah. If I call you, press that right away. I can tell you're not very used to your Deku scrub body yet. Alright, listen up. If you press and hold A as a Deku scrub while standing on a Deku flower, you can dive into it. If you wait a bit before releasing A, you'll launch out of the flower. Press A while flying to the scent. Yes, I got it. Are you sure? One more thing. Press A when you're on the ground to perform a spin attack. Got it. So yeah, you hold the button and then you can look around. And then... Ha! And then I can fly! Perfect. So you can already kind of get an idea of what this game is going to be like. But I won't spoil it just yet. For now, we're a Deku scrub. And who knows if we'll ever get our tiny boy body back. Stay tuned! <laughs> oh, that's really high. Can I make that? Oof, just, just barely. Deku nut! Press B while flying to drop a Deku bomb. Okay. Upon impact, make it a, make a blinding flash, freezing enemies in their tracks. You got it. Okay, so we need to go over there. Oh, no, here. Oh, shit. Oh, made it. Oops. Okay, and now... Should we just go there? Ooh, it's gonna be tight. Oh. Hey, come on, press Z and talk to me. Like that? There you go, you can do it if you try. When I fly over to people or objects, use Z to look at them so you can talk to them. Use Z targeting to talk to people even if they're far away. 
or if there's no one to target, you can press Z to look straight ahead. But enough about that for now. Come on over to the tree and check it out. You got it. Wait. Strange, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying any second now. How sad. Me. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, this game is uh, a lot darker and it deals, it deals with death a lot more. I'm really excited to show you guys. It's an old game, but it's a classic. If you give it some time, I'm sure everyone's gonna fall in love with it. <laughs> You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? He's so cool. He's also the mask seller in the original game, isn't he? Yeah, I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss, and now I have found you. Now don't think me rude, but I have been following you. He's so cool. For I know of, for, for I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. My Ocarina. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should, be no, it should by no means be a difficult task. He's so weird how he just like snaps into a new position. Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow. And I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you would bring back to me before my time here is up. <laughs> but yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I am counting on you. Sure, dude. So I gotta find my ocarina. And then he can tell me how to... <gasps> there it is. Dawn of the first day. Here we are. He gives me the creeps. The mask salesman was the... Sorry, just thinking aloud. Three days? Even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about the manding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? Great Fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. Just between you and me, Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate. You will find the Great Fairy there. Okay, North Gate. Oh, I forgot that clock thing in the bottom. Holy shit. Oh. <gasps> oh, the dog doesn't like me. Run! Get out of here. Ye who hold the sacred sword, leave proof of our encounter. I don't have a sword. I'm just a little scrub. I think this is the north gate. If I remember correctly, I think the fairy's here. Yeah, north. Clock town. My god, I forgot so much about this. I haven't played this in a long time. I don't think I remember how the temp the dungeons work and everything either, so... It's gonna be great to play through again. Here we are! Oh yeah, listen to when you... When I encounter these, their sound effect that plays. I never really understood what they say, but it always, to me, sounds like, hear my plea. Like, hear my plea! Listen to it. The Grey Fairy, oh no! I don't know if it's here, though, but... 
that. <laughs> I don't even know if that if it's supposed to be any words, but it sounds to hear my plea. Young one, please hear my plea. I have been broken and shattered to pieces by the masked skull kid. Please find the one stray fairy lost in town and bring her to this fairy fountain. Oh, they're trying to heal me. Okay, thanks. So, in this game, the fa great fairies, they're the same great fairies as an Ocarina of Time, but they can be disrupted and then they, cha they change into these tiny bits. They're tiny bits of one great fairy, basically. So there's one stray fairy in town that we have to find. I think I know where. I 100%ed this game back in the N64 days, but since then I've never done it again. It's a lot of work to get everything without spoiling. I'm keeping it spoiler free. Like even the game concept, the core concept of this game, I haven't told you guys yet. <laughs> I just want to take you guys on this weird ass adventure. Wait, wait, hang on. Oh yeah, the salesman. I always wondered how he fit those big bags into that flower. Look. Whoosh! How's that fit in there? This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. Oh, I think we can buy the deed for this flower and then we can use it. I already sold out all of my wares and the carnival hasn't even begun. Thinking of closing up shop so I can buy a gift for my wife and return her to in my return to her in my village. Heard that a stone called the moon's tear shines brighter than any other in the land. If you've got one, I really like to get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you this spot. Take your flower included. Okay. That's cool. Do you have one? You're a deco scrub, so you know just how convenient a deco flower can be. If you don't hurry, I'll give it to another deco scrub. <laughs> the early scrub gets the nut. <laughs> The early scrub gets the nut. <laughs> oh my god. Well, it's not November anymore, so... The laundry pool. I think it's here. Yeah, there it is. How do I get you again? There you go. The mask skulk has broken me apart and shattered my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain in North Clock Town. Oh yeah, and we can actually bounce on water. So we can't swim, but we can do a couple bounces like that to get across stuff. It's really fun. Okay. Um. God, I need to get used to this frame rate. Oh, who's that? Is that is this your doorbell, dude? I don't think he wants to talk to me though. Yeah, because I'm not human. He's scared of scrubs. The early scrub gets the nut. <laughs> What's up? What are you doing? Aren't you gonna take this fairy to the shrine? Yeah, I'm on my way. Look at the time! You don't even have three days left! Fuck. This game is super anxiety inducing if you don't like deadlines. <laughs> See that little sun icon move on the bottom as well? It's this first day. I think it's 11 a.m. right now. And then each time it goes around, I think, is an hour. Let's see if it goes to 12. And I think it stops when you go in buildings and stuff. Maybe when it passes up top. Ah, okay, cool. Yoo-hoo, I got your toe. I got one of your toes. There you go. There she is, that familiar hysterical hysterical laugh. <laughs> Hi. Different color though. Tattle, and you, young one of the altered shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that masked child was helping me and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. I guess we lost our powers. 
Yay! Ooh, magic! <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, yes! Magic power! You've been granted magic power. In your current form, press B to shoot bubble blasts. Press and hold B to blow a big bubble. Release B to shoot it. Your magic power decreases when you shoot. Replenish it with magic jars and potions. The man who lives in the observatory outside of town might know of the Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's powers, kind young one. If ever you are returned to your former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. You got it. Dang. Okay, awesome. So, we got magic power. Now, I think... I might not have enough money, but... I think I can get a map. I'm gonna have you guys meet my favorite character. <laughs> Perfect landing! <laughs> What's this? Green clothes? White fairy? Sir, could you by chance be a forest fairy? <laughs> oh my! My name is Tingle! I think I'm the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Alas, though I am already the age of 35, no fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. You go, dude. You can be a fairy if you want to. Now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky. You're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know. We should be friends. Yes, yes. In exchange, I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Five rupees. Cool. Yippee! Yay! Thank you. Now you can find your way across town. The red arrow on the map shows where you entered, and the yellow arrow shows your current location. Well, call again! <laughs> These are the magic words that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them! <laughs> and up he goes! <laughs> He's my favorite character. What do you want, shrimp? I'm busy practicing with my blowgun. If you can't pop that balloon, then don't mess with Jim. Oh, I can pop a balloon, all right. A little shit. Here. Bam. Take that. What the heck? Are you the one who just popped that, popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. You need, a, you need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easily. Can't just tell you what the code is. You have to pass my test first. Alright, line up, guys. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? Fuck. <laughs> oh, cutie. I, I don't remember where they are. Oh, I hear one. That's one. Oh, you caught me! Four left. Okay. I hear another one. Oh, in the corner there? Yes! Oh, you caught me! Three left. Okay, now the other ones are hard, I think. So two in here. We're gonna look across town. This is the east end. Oh, there's one on the roof there. How do I get there? That one doesn't count. That's the gatekeeper. Mm. Maybe there's a flower? Yeah. Go get him! Go get him! There he goes! Okay, got him. 
Ah, you caught me! Two left. Okay. Where the fuck are they, though? No idea. Why do we have to play these stupid rats little games? Come on, hurry up and find them already. 14 minutes left, okay. That's not too bad. Oh, there's one hanging there. Okay. There he goes. Go get the little shit. Don't hurt the chicken. Fuck. Got him. Nice. Oh, you caught me. Only one left. Okay, that was two in this area. Where's the last one? I'm trying to listen for their little footsteps. Okay, I don't see him here. I generally don't remember. <laughs> Maybe this area? West Town? Haven't been here yet. Look for a kid. Oh! There's one there. Fuck yes. That's the last one. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to explain a ton of shit to you guys, but not yet. No. Uh, I don't want to see that. No. I don't care about the bank right now. Yeah. Oh, no way. You finally got me. Totally did it. That was cool. You're pretty good for Deku Scrub. If only you were human. Then I could give you an original bomber's notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way! No scrubs! Guess not. Once we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang and boy, did we ever regret it. Sorry. But I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can tell you only once though, so pay close attention. Fuck. Pen and paper at the ready. Are you ready? Okay. So... Five, two, one. Five, two, one, four, three. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye! Let's go to the observatory. Uh, that clock, man. Scary. Hello. If you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code. Okay. How do I... Ah. Five, two, one, four, three. Hmm, that's right. If you know the code, then you remember, right? Okay, here you go. Dang. There's a lot of cool stuff at the telescope guy's place. Oh yeah, and um, Bomber Secret Society of Justice forever! <laughs> Bye! Ooh, it's night. 60 hours remaining. Well, we still have two and a half days, sort of. Spooky. I like it. Oh, there's a clock here. Look, that's a clock. So now it's nighttime. We have a little moon in the middle, and then it's just like going around. Okay, let's see. There we go. Can I blow a bubble? Oh, nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. Got a rupee too. Killing pays. Murder, murder, murder. Bam! Sparkles and everything. Give me the money! Oh, it gives me magic. I guess that makes sense. They want to make sure you have what you need to break the bubble. Eh. I'll climb the ladder, please. Thank you. My tiny little boy body. Tiny little scrub. <laughs> the early scrub gets the nut. Ah, we made it! This is the observatory. Mr. Scarecrow Man! Yo, hey baby! I'm a styling scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance till dawn. 
No thanks. Ah, sorry, that's too bad. In that case, come back anytime if you do decide you want to dance. By the way, I know of a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. Do you want to learn it? Not now. I don't have an ocarina. Oh, sorry, that's too bad. In that case, let me hear a song written by you, baby. What's Saddle saying? I wonder how the astronomer knows the Skull Kid. Oh, look at the time. You don't even have three days left. I know. Don't remind me. I love these colored staircases. Um, how do I get up here? Oh, there we go. There he is. Oh, strange looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bombers gang? Hmm, your manners seem much better than those of your mis mischievous friends from the other day. Ha ha ha. That ill-mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon's tear. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Yes, I would like to gaze into the telescope. Bing, 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 bing. There he is! We found him! He's on top of the tower. <gasps> the moon! I forgot to even look at it! <laughs> Such a scary moon, man. Ooh, something crashed here. Let's go have a look. <laughs> Slapping his ass. <laughs> Well, did you find that troublemaker? That loud noise. What was that? Perhaps another moon tear has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock door, and that opens only on the eve of carnival. Let me go through. Let's go check what it is. <gasps> Moonstone. Wow, moon's tear. Sparkling beauty radiates rather strangely. Awesome. Oh, and there's one of these things. Oh. Oh, can I talk to it as well? I can't. Maybe not as a Deku scrub? Oh, I can. It's like my heart is being peered right into. That is, dis that is a disturbing eye. Okay, let's go back. So now we know that we need to get to the top of the clock tower, but we have to wait until the day of carnival. Carnival Eve, I think. Um, and then we can get to him. So we have to wait. Could go talk to the scarecrow and dance with him. Don't you remember the Deku scrub we wanted the moon steer? Don't tell me you forgot. No, I didn't. Look at the time. You don't even have three days left. You're gonna have to. Are you gonna tell me that every time, Paddle? <laughs> not, a, not a big fan. <laughs> oh, there's fish in the water. But first, now, first off, we're gonna go to the Deku dude, Deku scrub. Who taught us the enlightening phrase, the early scrub gets the nut. Isn't it crazy how different this game is already compared to Ocarina of Time? I'm curious to see what in the comments. Let me know if you haven't played this game before and you don't know the story. If this was anything at all like what you expected. Ah, no! Don't attack me, dog! If you have a moon steer, I must get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot. Take a flower included. Okay, let's equip it. And then give it to him. There you go. <gasps> that stone! You must hand it over to me. In exchange, I'll give you my spot here. Take a flower included. Yes? We got the deed! You really helped me out. Now I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't set eyes on a jewel or strange sparkling stone like this in a very long time. Title deed for this spot should be in high demand among Deku scrubs, but you already know that. If you don't need it anymore, you can always sell it. 
Yay! <laughs> Bye, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's the... Okay. <laughs> Such a long outro. Goodbye! So, now I can use this. But why would we want it? I don't really know. Is it... Could I not have gone here otherwise? Door to the clock tower opens only once a year at midnight on the eve of carnival. Piece of heart. Collect four pieces to assemble a new container. Each new container you put together will increase the amount of life energy you can have. So yeah, this door. We gotta... We gotta wait. Can I not... Oh, that's why. So I can't climb the side the way I am now. So that's why we need we need the flower to get up there. Okay, so the eve of carnival. When is that exactly? <laughs> Leave me alone, dog! Hey, apprentice, don't just stand around looking at the sky all day. Maybe I can talk to him. Also, these are not the same carpenters from the first game. Hey ho, hey ho! Looks like another all-nighter. I wonder if that'll ever... That'll get finished. Um, so, because this year was made in a year, they just reused all of the characters, basically, and all of the assets. So that's why you, why you see the same dogs and the same characters, but they're just different people now. Hey, dude. It's gotten bigger again. This is bad. Door to the clock tower. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, that's what he's looking at. <laughs> it's so cool. Look at that scary ass moon. It is getting bigger. Okay. Um, I need to double check if there's anyone I can talk to about carnival. Suppose there's an eyesore. What a sorry collection of cowards. <laughs> Don't do it, dog. Don't attack me. Stop right there, Deku Scrub. Do you intend to return to the swamp alone? Dangerous at night, so I cannot allow a child like you to go out alone. You are not allowed to pass through here without an adult or until you're old enough to carry a weapon. Well, so as long as I'm not human, I can't get- I can't leave town. What's up there? Town shooting gallery. Hmm. It's almost morning again. I want to show you guys what happens when a new day breaks. What's this? Stockpot in. Oh, that camera. Oh, here it comes. Look at the screen. The width of the screen. There it goes. First time it happened to me, I was like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Why is it getting smaller? My TV, no! <laughs> it's so cool. 48 hours. Okay, let's... I think we need to... What did she say again? Tattle? I think it's like midnight, right? Of the third day. So it's this, it's morning of the second day now. I can, I can at least go to like night of the third day, I think. And then I'll just have to wait. So let's go. I'm gonna go back to dance with Mr. Scarecrow. That should speed things up a little bit. Yup, 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 yup. Um, okay, dance until night. Yes, please. Oh yeah, in that case, forget the time. Let's dance. <laughs> wow, so enchanting. It's kind of hard to look at, honestly. It's making me a little nauseous. But I'm also really hungry, so that's why. 36 hours remain. 
Oh yeah, how was it? Went by in an instant, right? And still full of energy. I feel like we can forget the time and dance till dawn. Let's do it. We basically, we can look around town a little bit, but there's nothing really we can do in our current state. So it's best to just like do this until the clock tower opens. Final day. Forget the time and dance until night. Let's do it. Okay. Night of the final day. Only 12 hours remain. How was it? Went by in an instant, right? Still full of energy. Outside it seems to have gotten kind of dangerous. I'm getting out of town. Take care. I know of a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. Would you like to learn it? Sure. Oh yeah, listen up. Seems that if you play a mysterious song backwards, you can slow the passage of time. If you play each note twice in a row, you can move half a day forward through time. How's that? Pretty interesting, isn't it? If you learn a new song, come try it on me. Until then, I'll see you later, baby! So cool how they just, like, go wherever they want. Well, let's go see what he meant with things are getting dangerous. What's you guys' favorite temple in this game or dungeon? I think the forest one is mine, but I honestly can't really remember the rest. There's a desert one, right? The water one. And ice? Is that it? Yeah, I think the forest one is my favorite because of the music. Uh, let's go to the center of town. Also... It's so big! It moved! It is getting closer. I'm sure nothing bad would happen, right? I think I still have to wait till midnight. Oh, hey dude. Hey, Deku Kit, you waiting for you waiting for us to finish the bridge from the festival tower to the clock tower entrance up there? Sorry, my apprentice has panicked and ran away. This is all we get for a festival tower. It's not quite tall enough, is it? Jeez. Even if we went to the top of the festival tower, we wouldn't be able to get up to the clock tower entrance. I apologize for all this. I wish I could scare that moon away. So people have been fleeing town because the moon approaching is freaking them out. And that's what's causing the rumblies. I think this is it. Now I just wait. Wait till midnight. Oh, there it goes. Midnight! I was just waiting. <laughs> so weird. Boom, baby. And it's open. It's go time. Ooh, six minutes left. Don't stop now. You can get up there now. Let's go! Get our stuff back. Where the fuck is Epona? We've been looking for you too. Hey, Skull Kid, what if you gave that mask you're wearing back now? Hey, come on, are you listening? Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four are there. Bring them here. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. No, what are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid, do you think you're our friend after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. Just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then try and stop it. Ah! 
So he's literally pulling the moon to the earth. That's how strong he is. There it comes. We need to get that ocarina. He didn't. Look, he didn't like that. I, the power of my bubbles. Get it. Get it, dude. You got the Ocarina of Time back. Princess Zelda gave you this precious instrument. Set it to C and use A and the four buttons to play it. Press B to stop. Suddenly, memories of Princess Zelda come rushing back to you. Oh, Zelda. I miss you. You're already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? Even though it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. And I believe in my heart that a day will come when we shall meet when we sh when I shall meet you again, Jesus. Until that day comes, please take this. I am praying that your journey be a safe one. If something should happen to you, remember this song. This reminds me of us. It's the Temple of Time, right? Song? It's hard to do with the stick because it's not, it's not buttons anymore. Because there's no, there's no yellow buttons on this controller, obviously, so I'm using the stick to do the yellow buttons and then the A and B. The song of time, the melody ling lingering on the edges of your mind is the song of memories of Princess Zelda. Well, let's fucking use it before the world ends. The goddess of time is protecting you. If you play the song of time, she will aid you. Snap out of it! What are you doing? Lost in memories. Get yourself together. Getting that old ocarina back isn't gonna help us. Somebody! Anybody! Goddess of time, help us please! We need more time! I got you. I got you, boo! Ah, it turns green. When did you get that instrument? So... The ocarina turned into this little weird trumpet thing. Save and return to the dawn of the first day. Let's try it. Time travel, baby! <gasps> I forgot, I lose all my rupees and possessions. Fuck. Should have put it in the bank. So that's the thing you can do. I walked by the bank, but I didn't I didn't want to tell you guys yet because I didn't want to spoil that you that we're going back in time. Um, but a thing you can do is there's a bank in Clock Town. You put your rupees uh, in the bank, and then if you go back in time, the bank will still have your rupees. So you don't lose it if you have a lot of rupees. It's convenient. So all of this happens in the same way. And that's where we begin each cycle. What just happened? Everything has reset. Started over. Look at the moon. Smaller. Not that small, but not that close anymore. 
What are you, anyway? That song you played, that instrument. That instrument? Wait, that's it, your instrument. The mask salesman said that if you got back the precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal. Did you completely forgot or what? Forget. Let's go. Talk to him. It's time for the song of healing. Were you able to recover your precious item from that imp? <laughs> oh, you got it! You got it! <laughs> Look at that Elvis mask on the... Where does he... Where, did, where was he keeping this? He just pulled this out out of nowhere. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so many keys. Then listen to me. Please play this song that I am about to perform and remember it well. Wait, was it there all this time? And I just didn't see it? This is the mask song. Hmm, <laughs> little hearts. There you go. And the curse is fading away. Bye! <laughs> so cute. And it turned into a mask. Isn't that awesome? I'm back! Yay! <sighs> this is a melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I am sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. Ah, yes. I give you this mask in commem commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will transform in the shape you just were, and when you remove it, you will return to normal. Cool. Our first mask. You got the Deku mask to keep as a memento. Press start and set it to one of the buttons on the select item screen. Wear the mask with C to inhabit the body of a Deku. Press C again to return to normal. <laughs> now I have fulfilled my promise to you. So please give me that which you promised me. I don't have it. I'm so sorry. I don't have it yet. Don't tell me. My mask. You did. Get it back, didn't you? Oh. <laughs> He's so scary. What have you done to me? <laughs> if you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. The mask that was stolen from me, it's called Majora's Mask. Title drop. It is an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used by an ancient tribe in its hexing rituals. It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's mask were so great The Ancient Ones, fearing such catastrophe, sealed the mask in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. But now, that tribe from the legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to get the, le the legendary mask, and when I finally had it, I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was that unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now, the imp has it. I am begging you, you must get that mask back quickly or something horrible will happen. <laughs> so Japanese. Oh, please, I'm begging. <laughs> I'm begging you, you must do it. Bowing, I mean, the bowing. Really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. You'll be fine. Surely you can do it. I believe in your strengths. Believe. Yeah, it is. He did pull that whole organ out of his pockets. It's not here. 
<laughs> oh, I'm a boy again. Yay! The world is our oyster. We can go wherever we want now. That mask. The Skull Kid uses the power of the mask to do those terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we gotta do something about it. Swamp, mountains, ocean, and canyon that Tail was trying to tell us about. I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside town. There's one in each compass direction. But what do you suppose he meant by the four who are there? I have no idea. He always skips important stuff. I guess we should just go and find out. If we go through that gate straight ahead, we'll be heading in the direction of the swamp. Well, um, I think this will do it for our first episode. It's probably going to be shorter than the other episodes. Because the other episodes I'm going to probably cover a lot more. But um, I think this is a good section. Stop right there. Have you some errand in the swamp? It's dangerous outside the town wall, so I cannot allow a child like you to... A sword? My apologies, sir. It was wrong of me to treat you like a child. The southern swamp at Woodfall lies in this direction. Be careful. I want to show you guys the, the overworld. The music. There we go. A big open world. You see the map as well. There's like four exits in each direction. Um... Looks like there is a chest here somewhere. Oh yeah, up there. I guess we can't get it yet. We probably need something like a hookshot or something. I'm guessing this game has one. I forgot. They look so weird! You see he has magic in him. Yay! Um, I'm super excited to go to the next area, but I feel like... I don't know how long it takes, but I feel like each area is probably one episode. Oh, he comes back. He just respawns. Um, I think there's one little cutscene we can trigger here that I'll do, and then we're gonna call it a day. What was that rumbling? My controller just rumbled a little bit. It's a little memory here. No. See, that's the Skull Kid and those little two fairies. Top right, black and white. That's them. Oh, I remember this. Tail and I drew this with the Skull Kid when we first met him. He told us that he had been fighting with his friends and that they had left him all alone. So they're all like outcasts together. They want to hide from the rain. There you go. Oh, shaking. Too cold. And there he is, without the mask. <laughs> They're warming up each other. It's so cute. Aww. So cute. <laughs> and then they became friends. His little face is so weird to see after seeing him with the mask all the time. And they drew that on the- or carved it into the tree, I guess. Otherwise it wouldn't stay there. I'm sure it was because he was so all- he was always playing tricks, so nobody wanted to play with him. 
But to do what he did just because of that. And then one day he found a mask. It's kind of like the ring from Lord of the Rings. You're just like drawn to it. Once he got his power. He slowly got corrupted. Nice, that was awesome. So next episode, we're gonna go into this area. Um, we're gonna go explore the swamp area and see what we can find. I think, I'm assuming this is the, to the swamp, the south area. I think that's what they said. So this is where I will wrap up today's episode. I'm super excited to go through Majora's Mask with you guys. Um, I am so excited to show you all this game has to offer. This is only the very tip of the iceberg. So I can't wait to show you all the new masks, all the time conundrums and all the areas in the game. And it's going to be awesome. So I have no idea how long the future episodes are going to be. Ideally, I would aim for an hour to an hour and a half each time. But I do want to like have a certain amount of progress in each episode. Um, so in my mind right now, I'm like, okay, I'll do the swamp area in one episode. But honestly, that could be like two and a half hours to do. I'm not sure. I'll just record it and then see how long it is after editing. Um, or after, if there's a point I can hit where I'm like, yeah, this is enough progress. Um, we'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you're excited for the series. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Helps me out, helps out the channel. So thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you guys soon with another episode.